Lang, 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 wah, 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 bum, 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 bum. This is the story of living simply. Why don't you come along with us and sing along the way? If you had a baby group that you used to sing with, try and imagine you can still hear them now. Hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm Jeff. And we're living simply. Well, trying to. <laughs> For those of you who don't know us, we were able to get our dual citizenship. We were able to get passports and everything and be able to live in Sicily after we retired. Right. We actually had a blast and we were able to share all that with you. But now it's kind of coming to an end for the moment anyway. So we are living simply in the United States, in Florida at the moment. We're involved in a couple of projects here at the house with a uh, outdoor kitchen of sorts. <music> Today, Jeff got this uh, backsplash up for me, and then we're going to move the furniture piece over to the other side. And Kane and I got all the water out of the big jug right there, and then I moved all the stones so that I'm just cleaning this wall up, and then this wall will be where we're going to move that piece of furniture. <music> kitchen so far. We have a stainless steel bench coming that will sit there and then I can put all my pots and pans under there. The refrigerator, the stove, and then um, making some pesto. We had a lot of nice basil that grew while we were gone so I'm mixing it up with some almonds and then uh, I'm gonna take a dip in the pool. This is where all of our dishes and utensils will go. And uh, that was from the fountain. I made that line for Jeff and he really liked it. So everything that needs to be kind of covered, I'm putting on the bottom or like turning these upside down. And then I you know, have my silverware in there. And I think if we just keep everything upside down, we should be okay. So this morning I was really hungry and Jeff decided to make his famous breakfast in our outdoor kitchen. What are you making, Jeff? Well, we're gonna make egg, bacon, and cheese McMuffins. Right, but we didn't have any muffins, but yesterday I made hamburger rolls. Yes, so we're gonna did. use those, right? Fantastic. Yeah. I gotta find them, what did I do with them? I don't know, put them in a baggie. Okay. So half of our stuff is inside, half of it is outside, <laughs> because uh, it's still pretty hot here yeah. in uh, Florida, yeah. but, We've been able to function. There's a few things that we need. We realized yesterday it took way too much work to clean everything off of the grill. So we're gonna get a flat uh, stainless steel, flat griddle top. griddle top. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna let Jeff make his, uh, his famous breakfast. <laughs> so one of the ways to cut down on costs and um, be more environmentally friendly is to make your own cotton napkins. So here I did, uh, I cut out my material. I, I went according to what I had left over. It's really nice, soft cotton fabric. And then I just ironed the edges up, double fold. And then I sewed the edges. I did a triangle fold on all of them except for one corner I left as a square. And that's just gonna be my signature thing that I do is the square with the three corners like this. And then you end up with a beautiful napkin that you can just use, reuse, wash. And if you want to, you know, embroider something on it, you can do that as well. I also decided to make these wax covers so that we can um, keep our food safe and clean without using aluminum foil. They're really easy to do. If you want to know, just let me know. Jeffrey, thank you so much for your 
egg McMuffins. You used to do this on a regular yeah, basis, yeah, yeah. cook breakfast, but since so we stopped eating breakfast, yes. you stopped making them, but look at yes. how beautiful that looks. Isn't that perfect? Awesome. <laughs> Somebody made those handmade fresh rolls yesterday. Yeah, let's see how it tastes. So our friends brought us these beautiful mangoes. We missed mango season from our trees, but what a beautiful gift. So I'm gonna make some mango salsa. I decided that um, I'm just gonna use the pots that I have to plant some vegetables in. We don't have a lot of space in the yard at the moment, so um, and Jeff doesn't have the time to build me anything. So I'm just gonna use my pots, plant them directly in the pots, but I think I might do a couple of starters here. This was originally lavender, I'm not sure that's what that is, but I'll let them grow and see what happens. So this is the back yard area that we were going to add either um, a shed, pool shed, that we could tie back into the, into the deck because it has a screen porch roof. So we were thinking of adding to the side, cutting down most of that tree and putting the shed in there or some kind of a coach. And we would either leave this um, against the wall or possibly on that end. And then we would have a patio area. We hope you'll follow, continue to follow us. Absolutely. Subscribe to our channel and tune in each week for new adventures of Living Simply <laughs> with Jeff and Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> ciao for now. Ciao, ciao.